You are what I'm looking for. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I've got a really quick and easy Chop It Up inspired project for you today. I'm going to make a set of cards using one sheet of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. This sheet of cut aparts comes from the Aquarell Dreams collection. And I've just grabbed one sheet of cut aparts from that collection and I'm gonna make 12 cards with this. So first up, we're going to cut all these pieces apart. Once I get them cut out, I'm gonna end up with 12 panels that measure three by four inches. I'm just gonna sort through them, make sure that everything looks good, and then I'm just gonna measure them. I'm gonna put them back in my trimmer and double check that they're exactly three by four inches because I wanna mat them on this purple cardstock from Basil, and I wanna make sure that they're all gonna line up and have the same little border all the way around. So I'm just gonna go through and make sure that each of these cut-aparts are three by four inches. And then I'm gonna grab that basil cardstock and I'm gonna cut 12 pieces that measure three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Now I had to use two sheets of this 12 by 12 paper in order to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of those out. And then once those are done, we've got 12 pieces of lavender cardstock and 12 cut aparts. And I'm just going to apply some double-sided adhesive and then I'm gonna line these little cards on the front of that purple cardstock, on the front of that lavender cardstock. The first little cut apart that I put here was a little bit shorter than three inches, and so I ended up just trimming that down later on, but for the rest, they are all going to line up perfectly, and I'll have a nice little border all the way around each of these little cards. So these are going to create some quick and simple cards without having to use too many different products and supplies and they're quick and simple and they turn out gorgeous. So that little one that's not quite three by four and a quarter, I just trimmed that down a little bit and now we're all set to go. I've got 12 A2 size note cards that measure four and a quarter by five and a half and this is a Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock, and I'm just gonna apply my double-sided adhesive here and line these up on the center of the cards, giving a nice white frame around each of those little cards. Okay, perfect. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all 12 of these little cards. Apply my adhesive, stick them to my note card, and then I end up with 12 gorgeous cards. Now you could leave that here. You don't have to do much else. You could just put these together in a little bag or box with some envelopes and they'll be good to give as a gift or use up as needed. But since I have the full collection of the Aquarelle Dreams, I decided to grab some of that ephemera. Because the cards were so simple, I just wanted to add a little bit of extra something to each of them. So I dug through the ephemera and I'm just using again my double-sided tape and applying little bits and pieces that I think match nicely with each of these cards. So I just dig through my ephemera, glue a piece here and there, and I'm just working on one card at a time. I don't want to kind of overdo it. I don't want to overwhelm myself with trying to figure out all 12 cards at a time. So in order to complete this entire project without taking too much time or overthinking anything, I just focus on one little card at a time. So I grab some beautiful floral arrangements and I dig through the ephemera to see what will match and what I like and what I don't like. And some of these little cards don't have a sentiment on them. So there are a couple of sentiments in my ephemera pack. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere those down and then just work my way through all of these beautiful cards. And then we'll end up with a complete note card set that is absolutely gorgeous. Let's take a look at what we've created here.
Okay, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope that you've enjoyed today's project and this quick little tip to create 12 gorgeous cards with one sheet of 12 by 12 cut aparts. You'll find the links in the description box down below for the products that I used in today's video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend it here with me. I appreciate the support as always. Coming up on screen are a couple of videos I think you may enjoy. Have yourself a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!